Good morning guys. Uh, throughout the video today, which will be a load test, capacity test, and kitchen sink thrown at it test, um, you will see readings from this device show up on the left and right side of your screen for a power wall number one and power wall number two. This is a balancer I purchased. Um, I purchased actually three of them. You will see the information. Pay a close information. Uh, pay a close attention to information on the upper right side of the pictures posted throughout the video. It will show a battery cell differential, meaning the difference in the voltage from the highest and the lowest cell. Um, it will help us you know determine how these cells are doing on in uh, how these modules are doing on individual level um, and I will make another video separately from this one in regards to this little device well hello everyone it is 4 30 a.m. Saturday morning we're starting the capacity test load test and everything else test on the power walls. We'll talk again soon after a couple hours. 5.30 p.m. We are at 719 amp hours uh, at 3 kilowatt 12 hour and 20 minutes left runtime on a battery. We'll see how it goes. It is 6.30 a.m. So far we have used 6 kilowatt hours out of this battery bank Powerwall 1.0 and 2.0. Continuing test. We are going to be using a dryer today too. And in addition to this, you see that I'm using 3 kilowatts right now. Three, I do have a 3 kilowatt load right now and that is because of space heater is running I'm using it I want to finish the test today instead of running it for two days we'll see how far this gets us and what is the total capacity of these two walls combined 7.30 a.m. battery is at 77% we have consumed 178 amp hours, 179 amp hours. That is 9.2 kilowatt hours consumed for three hours. Test continues. Current load at 2.8 kilowatts. It is 8.30 a.m. Current capacity 72%. We have used 222, 21 amp hours out of battery, which equates to 11.3 kilowatt hours. Uh, getting ready to start doing to start doing a laundry test, a laundry dryer test. See what effect has on this new setup over here. Dryer test has commenced. Currently, it is 8.41 a.m. Battery capacity at 549 amp hours. And at current 140 amp draw, I would have enough for four hours. I'll keep you guys updated. We'll go from here. So, as you can see here, I am at 0.2 C discharge rate as intended intended from this power wall. I would like to keep it here no more than here but we do have third power wall coming so that will improve the situation even more. This will help determine true capacity of this test. Interesting to note BMS temperature is at 24 degrees Celsius and Current ambient temp is 66 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 19 degrees Celsius. 
dryer test is finished you use about 75 amp hours to do a load or about 9-10% worth of battery we are back to 1.7 kilowatt load and if used that current load it will be about 13 hours before we get discharged uh, I'm going to turn on a little space heater over here in the garage and start draining it down again 10.30 a.m. we are at 53 percent capacity or we have 414 amp hours left left in a battery running a laundry machine right now so there will be another dryer test on top of this six hours and almost half uh, capacity used I'm trying to see how long this lasts just started another laundry load in a dryer currently at 146 amps 379 amp hour capacity left or 49 percent at current rate it will discharge it in two hours and 35 minutes at the beginning of this test laundry dryer test um, the BMS temperature is at 19 degrees Celsius we'll see how go how high it goes it's 11:33. the BMS temperature is at 27 degrees Celsius load is at 145 amps dry just disconnected 322 amp hours left 41 percent current load 1.7 kilowatts 1 30 p.m update we'll skip to 12 30 p.m we have to go eat lunch we are at 217 amp hours I have a big update for this for this time slot uh, we have used 560 amp hours so far almost at the end of the test we had a failure we're gonna discuss it power wall number one failed one cell in the module ruined everything we'll discuss it so we are looking at module number 12 cell number three in the powerwall version 1.0 that is the cell that failed in that module I always thought that my worst performing cell would be the top cell in the uh, module number two which I put on top and I marked X if you pay close attention to my videos you will see always that I have this one marked that one works just fine however it was one number 12 last cell on the bottom I'm charging it right now to see what I got or did I damage the other cells and um, I will keep updating we will talk a little bit more uh, more specifically what have we learned well I learned one thing um, whenever we are dealing with grade D cells used cells <clears throat> which most likely these are used cells but I don't have a problem with it. for a good price I'm willing to accept that uh, but the most important thing that I learned is when you have these grade B or used cells you do need a balancer you do definitely need a BMS let's put it that way and you definitely need to buy extra cells now I purchased 140 what was it 148 cells okay 
three power walls at 48 each, that will leave me with four extra cells. That's the reason why I got them. That's why I have additional 13 boxes over here. And that's the four extra cells down on the bottom just for the issues like this. So always have some spares. Always have something to work with uh, since we are doing it yourselfers. And it's very important once you assemble your power wall to do tests like this to see if anything is going to fail. Especially you have to do it multiple times because you don't know when something is going to fail. Last time it did not fail. Last time this wall produced 19.6 kilowatts kilowatt hours when I tested it back in November. From November till now, it failed. So, I will keep you guys posted. I will make a repair on this. Uh, I don't think it's going to be that difficult. Uh, these are some good uh, these are some good lessons for us do-it-yourselfers and um, you guys stay safe make sure you do have a balancer I don't care what anybody says this device helped me a lot as you are seeing throughout this video and uh, for a solution that I got which cost well under $200 um, I think this good BMS and this halfway good balancer let's put it that way I think I will do just fine in the coming months I think waiting to have a solar panels installed has given me opportunity to uh, learn a lot about the batteries about these different chemistries and adjust myself to all of this power wall number two is happy and it's being charged I will see how much exactly I will put back into it because I started start uh, started charging it back up at 165 amp hours so once it's got charging we're gonna subtract subtract this number after it's fully charged down to 165 and we'll see how much we use from it uh, from the little pictures attached to the video you'll see that this power wall number two never got way out of balance it does have a balancer up there I installed it wires are kind of still hanging I didn't want to finish it I want to make sure that the little power wall works that the little not power wall but the balancer that it works talk to you guys again soon I will make a video about aforementioned balancers